That's how you know that they're not right. <clears throat> Matter of fact, cut. There you go. There we go, man. Every week. The cut is gonna bite us. Fucking niggas, man. This first Ezra chapter 4 and 26. Cause this this what a lot of dudes do, man. And these yo, these women know that, man. That's why. I, they look at a lot of these dudes like they clowns, man. You know? This is the book of 1st Ezra chapter 4 and 26. It says, matter of fact, I'm going to start at verse 25. It says, wherefore a man loveth his wife better than father or mother. Yeah, many, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and became servants for their sakes, man. You know? And that, <laughs> that's what these weak ass niggas do, man. Why you think they be opening up a club like you'll see a fine ass woman walk past you and these niggas go out their goddamn mind and shit. You know? Oh, she got a fat ass, she can have my paycheck. That's a weak minded Negro, man. You know? Cause the scriptures tell you that she go, she go, uh, he gonna make a man more precious than fine gold, man. You know. So your whole job, our whole job, all we out here to do is to teach this truth, man. Teach this word, man. Be set apart, man, from these rest of these niggas, man. And then you run it, run, uh, 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 you know. Go out your mind over women. Matter of fact, you had a lot of niggas that actually killed they so over some whore, man. You know? You had niggas actually kill themselves over they woman. Talking about they couldn't live without them and all that, man. That's a weak-minded dude, man. You know? Because the most high, he put the man over top of the woman, man. That's just natural order, man. But you men, what you want to do, you want to chase after these women, man. Yo, your real woman is Sophia. With Sophia, that's wisdom, man. That's who you're supposed to chase after, man. Not these women out here sleeping with all these different dudes, man. Got all these different goddamn baby fathers, man. You know? A slip of half the neighborhood, man. And you, you, are you kidding me, man? And you gonna lose your mind over something like that? Almost was an accident. Uh, man, <laughs> let's keep going, man. Verse 27. It says, many also have perished, have erred and sinned for women, man. You know? Matter of fact, prime example, man. You look at King Solomon, man, and all his glory. Look at, look at all the Judge Samson, man. You know? He lost his mind over them women, man. And as strong as that dude was, man. And Samson's problem was he was going around chasing after them heathen women, man. Solomon also he had he had uh, concubines, you know. But when you dealing with them women like that, that's why you really not supposed to deal with them heathen women, cause they'll turn your heart away from your house and your house shop. And not just that, these are, are your own are, your, are, are women of Israel nowadays, man. Cause that's how wicked they become, man. You know, I wouldn't be have become that wicked. I'm gonna read that again, man. That was a banger. It says, "Many also have perished, <clears throat> have erred and sinned for women, man." You know, cause what niggas do now? Why? Why niggas want to get shape ups and all that, man? To impress they woman. As a child, when you matter of fact, as a child, 
and, and, and you go to the barbershop, nine times out of ten, nowadays it's the woman taking you. And tell them, yeah, shape them up like this. I want it to look like that. Why? Because that's the way they want you to look, man. And is it not a sin to get a shape up? Yes, it is, man. That's going against the law. But you got them niggas down there at the comfy church teaching that it's cool to get shape ups, man. You know? Our people wear, well, men, men, men wear dreadlocks and all that. Why? Because a woman said it was cute. So men, they they disregard the laws of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh What to please a fucking woman, man? You better listen to Bell Biv DeVoe, nigga. Never trust a big button to smile, man. You know? Like the scriptures say, said never trust a big button to No, the scriptures don't say that. But you never trust them, man. You know? Verse 28 says, And now do ye not believe me? Is not the king great in his power? Do not all reason spirit spirit and touch him? It says verse 29, Yet did I see him in a pen, the king's concubine, the daughter of the of the Amaru, Bardicus, sitting at the right hand of the king, man. Alright? Uh, matter of fact, here we go, man. Let's get uh, Deuteronomy 20 and 56. Cause that's the, cause we we on the women right now, man. The curse is on these whores, man. Yeah, that's the spirit, man. Spirit out here, boy. This Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 56. It says, The tender and delicate woman among you, which will not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom and toward her son and toward her daughter, man. So that's what these women do now, man. What they do, they wanna they they wanna get a check off their kids, man. You know? So they'd take a kid down there, give him all types of sugar and everything to make it seem like he got ADHD. So they could get a check, man. That's their eye being evil to, to, towards their sons and daughters, man. Now how it's evil towards their husbands? Because they don't listen. They not in line, they not in order, man. You know? So that's a curse from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. But you got these, like, matter of fact, I remember when I first came into the truth and I was downtown, a man was walking with his family. His women, his women was in order, man. Because as soon as they walked past where we was teaching that, he told them to fall back, basically told them to shut up. Let you try to do that to a, to a nigga woman now and see how much back, uh, see how much mouth you get, man. You know? And the only reason why they do that, because they have Esau to protect them. But when all hell break loose in America, they ain't gonna be running their mouths like that, man. They gonna be looking for a man to protect them. And all that dyke and stuff and all that, man, all that shit gonna cease, man. Cause they ain't gonna be able to uh, uh, protect you. Matter of fact, let me let me go back to that. This is our uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 58. Salakia, verse 57. It says, and towards her young, and towards her young one that cometh out from between her feet, and toward her children, which she shall bear, for she shall eat them. Damn, man, this is crazy. So this right, yo, this right here is what's coming to America, yo, and and um, cause it's gonna come, a, uh, it's gonna come an actual famine, 
All right. So, all right, this is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 57. It says, and towards her young one, to, and towards her young one that come out her feet, Salakia, come out from between her feet and toward her children, which she shall bear, for she shall eat them for one of all things, secretly in seeds and straightness, wherewith thine enemies shall distress thee in thy gates, man. So, yo, that's talking about basically the women going to be eating their children, man. Why? Because it's going to be that bad in America, man. It ain't even going to be no food, man. And they showing you that right now down there in Venezuela, man. All right? They had a picture from, uh, I believe, like a year ago, which was 2017, when the guy, he had all this food on his show. And this was a store, like if you go to a poppy store right now, man. They had all this food. Then 2018, right now, he had like two jars of uh, vinegar up there, man. You know? So these things happen all around the earth because that's the way the, uh, the elite move, man. As a matter of fact, the women couldn't even get their feminine hygiene products down there, man. So, yo, this, all those things is coming here, man. So this place is about to be jacked up. But people still worried about loving hip-hop and, and, and the eagles and all that, man. When that has nothing to do with your salvation. What I'm out here teaching right now through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, has everything to do with your salvation. All right? The words that is coming out of this Bible has everything to do with your salvation. It has everything to do with you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans' heritage, and you confusing the faces, man. It has everything to do with you, your history, your laws, your statutes, and your commandments that you turned your back on, man. You know? To be like the heathen, man. So these women, if you don't believe me, man, that these women going to be out here eating their children, you know, they probably look at it, though, what's, what's the fattest one? We going to take little Raheem. Because he got the biggest belly. That's cannibalism, man. You know, it's going to get real drastic and hectic out here, man. People going to be trying, they're going to be trying to eat anything just to fill their belly, man. You know? When I say all oh, hell is going to break loose, that's exactly what I mean, man. Like I said from the beginning when I first came out here, man. You know? You people have a rude awakening coming, man. Because you think everything's going to be peaches and cream, and especially you women, man. Because the women, guess what? They at ease right now, man. Why is that? Because the, the, uh, uh, you have children and the, and the government gives you homes. And then they give you, if you got five kids, they give you a five-bedroom spot. You know? And what's that to do? To keep you at ease, man. And then, these, then, then our, our women, these black women, these nigga women, man, what they do, they act like they made it. They act like they worked their whole lives to get those uh, uh, PHA homes, man. You ain't work for that. All you did was have children, man. All you did was have children and shit on the baby father, man. So for that, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh he's coming to visit you, man. You know? Now, if I'm gonna stare on these women for a little bit, man, it's the book of Micah chapter 7 and 10. Alright? For for uh <laughs> for you women that like calling the cops on the nigga. You know? As a matter of fact, thinking of that, I got a testimony. Because I remember when I first started teaching, and before I had a camera, I used to teach down there in South Philly on, uh, on, on Broad and Snyder, man. You know? And them people used to come up against me heavy, man. You know? But I still was going in. Why? Because I was in the spirit of power. I was by Shimmy, I was shy. And this nigga lady, she came out of the, uh, 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 the McDonald's, you know? And was talking heavy shit. Ah, oh, get out of here, nigga. Take that shit up the street. Do this. You know that. You know how the nigga woman gets, man. 
And what's the first thing she did? She called Esau. I'm calling the cops. Well, go ahead and call them then, man. So she calls the police, right? So the police come, and guess who it is? It's another nigga woman, man. So she comes back and start, and start, uh, 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 you know, basically the dude was cool, but she's sitting there talking about what was out there cussing her out and all that shit, man. So recently I went back down there, and guess what? The McDonald's is shut down, man. You know? That's a call Halami al Bashim al Shah, man. Because you don't come up against the men of the Lord like that and, 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 and think that, um, you know, like, like, like it's going to be cool, man. Like he's not going to punish you. Now, guess what? That woman's out of a job, man. And hopefully she don't get no unemployment, man. <laughs> Fucking nigga woman, man. All right, man. This is the book of uh, Micah chapter 7 and 10. It says, Then she that is my enemy shall see it, and what shall she see? Because our women right now, they don't believe in, this, in, this, in these scriptures, man. You know? They believe in Esau. They believe in what they can see. You know? They believe in that section 8. Them PHA homes and all that. That's what they believe in. They believe in those food stamps, man. You know? They don't believe in these prophecies, man. Why? Because they, they don't see it. And they're not even just you women. Two thirds of the niggas, man. You don't believe in it either, man. Cause all all, all niggas want to believe in, or tend to believe in, is something that they can see right in front of their face, man. That's why they don't believe in the Most High and His Son, man. Cause they can't see Him. But guess what? They gonna believe real soon. And when it says they shall see it. They gonna see these prophecies starting to come to come to pass, man. You know? They gonna see the uh, 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 the dollar collapse, man. You know? And that and that's when uh, uh, people's eyes are really gonna start to open up. But guess what? It's gonna be too late after that, man. Cause the men of the Lord ain't gonna be out here on the highways and byways to teach them anymore. They gonna shut down the uh, 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 the YouTube channels. That's why the Apostle Tahar put, put that order out to put up as many videos a, as you can, basically, man. Three videos a day. You know? The same way Esau is working to, uh, uh, to, 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 to bring his agenda in and he working fast, we have to work the same way to push the vibration on this place, man. But back in Micah, back in Micah chapter 7, verse 10, it says, Then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy God? Where is Yahweh by Shinyahu Shah thy power? Mine eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire in the streets, man. So the mire in the streets, that's mud, man. You know? So that's saying that's how she going to be trodden down, man. It says my eyes shall... I'm going to read that again, man. Then she that is my enemy shall see it. So right now the nigga woman is your enemy, man. Because who, 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 she's an adversary of Satan, man. She's working with, she's working with the power of the left hand side, man. Why? Because the women like power, man. And guess who's in power right now? Esau. It says, and shame shall cover her which said unto me, where is your whole boss and our side our power? All right, so when she starts to see these things, shame going to cover her, man. Why? Because you've been out there telling her, and we've been out here on these highways and byways telling you for, for, for years, man. You got the, the apostle to her, been out there for decades, man. About three decades going on, going on for her. Three and a half decades, man. So that's a lot of marking that he did. So I, <laughs> it says, Where is Jehovah Bashing outside of power? My eyes shall behold her. So he's going to look at her like, Yeah, I told you. I told you, dumbass woman. 
That's basically what you're gonna be saying, cause you ain't gonna be talking, talk, talking smooth to her, man. After the whole time she disrespected you, how about see me out shot? You know? It says, now shall she be trotting down as the mire in the street, so you gonna stomp her out, man. You gonna treat her like a like a nigga. That's the type of ass whooping you gonna give her, man. And you think she gonna call Esau then? Cause Esau ain't gonna be able to protect her, man. You know? Here's the book of Psalms, chapter 35 and 26. All right, it's the book of Psalms, chapter 35 and 26. It says, let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice at mine hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me, man. So, yo, that, that's heavy right there. Let me just start reading that again. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 35, verse 26. It says, let them be ashamed that brought, let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice at my hurt, man. So who, who's rejoicing at our hurt right now? The main one is the so-called white man, Esau. All right? Two-thirds of our people and our women, man. They rejoicing that we down right now. Why? Because they getting all these perks and they want to sell out to the so-called white man and, and, and try to get that money, man. You know? Why? Because they think that his power is never going to fail and never go down. But it's failing right now, man. It's been failing. You know? This power been failing, man. It says, let them be clothed with shame. Shalak. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me, man. So yeah, let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me, man. So who magnifying themselves against us right now, man? The so-called white man. First and foremost. Then you even got two-thirds of your people, man. Now how do they do that? Especially these niggas that be out here selling all these drugs, man. You know city what I'm saying? Hall, city Hall, City Hall. <laughs> city Hall, man. Especially them niggas that be out here selling all these drugs. They, they think they better than the average person, man. When you worse, when you worse them, man. Cause you out here killing your people. And you got the nerve to think that that money makes you somebody, man. It tells you in the scriptures, riches profited nothing in the day of destruction, man. It's gonna come a time in America where you're gonna be burning that money for, for, for uh, heat. All them niggas talking about I'm stacking paper. That's all you really doing. It's stacking paper because that's all it is, man. And some of them niggas gonna be eating that shit. Just to try to fill their bellies, man. Verse 27 says, Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteousness, because yeah, let, let them. Let them say, say continually, let Yahweh Bashim Yahushua be magnified with that with have pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. So even though, so the prosperity of his servant is coming out here, man, enduring, teaching his word the right way, man, the sound doctrine, not going off, not leading your people astray. All right? And that's and, and that and that's the only men that's that's uh Rejoicing right now, really we not rejoicing. 
we gonna be rejoicing once this place gets destroyed and we start seeing all the calamity happen to you niggas, man. And, 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 and uh, all you other nations, man. You know? We gonna be out here uh, having a ball, man. Cracking up. The same way you laughing at us now, man. All, all that laughter is gonna come to uh, cry. What they say, laugh now, cry later. All that laughter is gonna be turned to shame, man. You know? But going back to the book of uh, Micah chapter seven, matter of fact, I'm gonna go to Psalms chapter 42 and three. I'm trying to tell you. No, no, no. Yeah. I know. Yo, you don't want to hear the truth. I know. <laughs> That's all you got to do, man. You know? The first time she come over here, you know, talking about she a church lady because you see me holding the Bible, man. We against the church, man. You know? And I, I knew she was going to ask him some, some bullshit or something, man. That's how the way she was coming up, man. <laughs> Yo, man. She really cares when I'm a church leader. What the fuck does that have to do with anything, man? So I'm supposed to have compassion on you? Are you a church lady, man? Hey, yo, guess what? The church. The church women are some of the wickedest women on the face of this earth, man. Because the church ain't nothing but a whorehouse, man. Because for one, you go in there, they, they are whoring after different gods. Alright? They are whoring after different gods and philosophies. And actually being actual whores in there, man. And you supposed to respect something like that? No, you're not, man. You supposed to rebuke that. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 42, verse 3. It says, My tears have been have been my meat day and night, while they continually say to me, Where is thy power? So yeah, man. Continually everybody talking about where is God at and all that. Don't worry about it. He's gonna come when he come, man. Just know when he pop up, you gonna know. Cause the ones that didn't believe, he gonna be putting you to death. That's why I tell you in the scripture, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. The name, which the name is Yahweh, which is right here on my garment, Yahweh. Yahweh in the Hebrew, and the son's name is Yahweh Shah, which is right here on my garment, man. So I got the name of the Father and the Son on my garment. But to a lot of you, it probably looked like alien writing, man. Because you don't know your own language, man. Your language has been stripped from you. When you came over on them cargo slave ships, man. And that's funny, I was getting on a woman and then you got the woman come up. Talking that church shit. This is a book of Isaiah chapter 4 and 4. Yo, every week, man. Every week, never fails. 